So this is the the story of Steve Jobs, but it's it's framed on sort of looking back on his his life. So, and you've been right. deeply involved in the the efforts around this project. So you can tell us a little bit more about this performance. Yeah, it's a fascinating show. This show premiered uh, a couple of years ago, but uh, Mark uh, Campbell and Mason Bates, the composer and the librarist, they wanted to do a new staging of the show and they approached Thomas Vullon, the artistic and general director of the Trans Opera, to kind of do a, a fresh look into how it can be enhanced, how it can be redesigned. So they were working for a number of years already uh, trying to get to this point. And this is a collaboration between five opera companies, uh, and we are making the film out of it, so we are pretty excited about it. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, or you can hear even, the music by uh, Mason Bates has that sort of technology embedded in, an or in a regular orchestration. He's also a DJ, so he comes from that background, and the music is fascinating because of that. It's a short opera, it's around 90, 97 minutes, uh, which in opera world is short, right? When you have <laughs> longer, two hour and a half or so operas with two acts, this is one single act. Even though, you know, he, you, you might think this is all about Apple products, it's about Steve Jobs. And Steve Jobs as a, both a character in his own life, uh, for good or bad, right? Uh, like any human being, he is, sometimes, you know, he can be a genius and he, because of what he did with technology. And we are talking about technology and obviously all of us have a, well, not all of us, <laughs> right, Gabe? But most of us have, you know, an iPhone or, or we play with other technology. We have Mac, com Mac computers, but even if it's Mac or PC, we are engaged with technology around us. And the iPhone or any cell phone that does everything in one device, uh, we're dealing with the aftermath of that really genius kind of move to put everything you know in our hands so the the, the whole show looks at to his life and how what he did obviously in in the pursuit of creating this one device uh, but also how was his his own personal life and his idea that he can manipulate or control reality and change reality but how that affected his own personal life you know he, he has his first daughter you know the fact that he didn't want to recognize that that happened and didn't take care of her for a long time. So we look at the human being as well, and the travel man, and the, the fight with his partner, you know, Steve Wozniak, and then saying, this is my company, right? So going through that sort of personal journey of what is it to really to be Steve Jobs, and how you can admire somebody for what he did, but also kind of how troubled he was with his own life, which you can arguably say that it was his own demise, because he didn't want to face the reality of the own cancer that he had. And when he wanted to solve it through other means, because of meditation and, and alternative medicine, it was too late when he really realized he needed to go to a real doctor and face it. And he died, right? So the opera is, is looking into different moments in this life. And it's told in a, in a very interesting way because it's not linear. You go back and forth in time. You have the presence of his Zen master and the, the meditation and how he was looking for simplicity and beauty. So, yeah, it's a pretty fabulous show. Uh, we hope people you know, are going to be interested in, in coming to watch it.